What's up guys, Ruski Tech here, and welcome back to another tech review. I make tech reviews weekly, and if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified every time I drop a new video. In this video, we're going to be checking to see if the iPod Classic is still relevant in 2019. The iPod Classic 5th generation released in October of 2005. This specific iPod is amazing because they actually introduced video playback into this generation. They technically named it iPod Video, but a lot of people still call it iPod Classic or iPod Classic 5th Gen. This specific iPod came in a 30 gig hard drive configuration, but I think you can also get them in 60 and 80 gigabytes. We're trying to see if the iPod Classic can still be relevant in 2019 because the iPod Classic 5th Gen actually has the best DAC in the iPod Classic line. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure the iPod 5th Gen actually has the best DAC compared to most Apple products. If you manage to find an iPod Classic, preferably a 5th Gen, then I bet you the battery is dead and the hard drive is either really, really slow or dying as well. So what I did with this guy is actually replace the battery and replace the hard drive with flash storage. Replacing the hard drive with flash storage actually made it faster and you can increase how much storage you have. I increased my storage from 30 gigs to 64 gigs. And if you got the right board, then you can expand that to even more. Replacing the battery and replacing the hard drive was actually really easy and pretty cheap too. I'll be releasing tutorials in the near future on how to open the back case, how to replace the battery, and how to replace the hard drive with flash storage. After doing all those things, it was crazy to see how much longer the battery lasted and how much lighter the iPod got after removing the hard drive. I can probably carry this guy all day and then forget I even had it on me. It got that much lighter. I put on a couple songs on the iPod just to test it out and it was amazing to hear how the audio sounds. Plus, having that rotating wheel to give you that nostalgia was definitely worth the time and money to bring this bad boy back to life. The awesome part about it is that you can also add Bluetooth modules or wireless charging if you find a non-stainless steel back. In my opinion, if you take the time and money just to replace the parts and make the iPod fresh, then the iPod can definitely be relevant in 2019. As I said earlier, I'll definitely be releasing tutorials and links in the near future on how to replace the parts and where to buy them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, then drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.